Yo, this is a coaching video with one of my uh, VIPs in chat. He recently purchased one and he's actually purchased another, which is going to be later. And as with everything, this is up to the person I'm coaching if they want me to upload or not. I've got permission, which is why I'm doing it. I hope you guys have a good morning, even in my Twitch, I won't fit shit like that. And again, for those interested in coaching, feel free to check out the video that will be in the description. As a price is $30, you have discount in the chat, you can use my Twitch, which is $5, so it makes it $25. As you can see, the last around two to three hours, you get to ask me whatever the fuck you want. So yeah, up until now at least, most people have said that they felt like it's been worth it. And if you are interested in learning more about Twitch, Jungle, ADC, whatever, then, you know, feel free to just join the Discord, not even for coaching, you can talk in general chat, blah, blah, blah. However, I will let it play now as it's already a very long coaching video. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Enjoy. Peace. Mm -hmm. Well, I think like... Uh... It's all improvable, so like happy days, I think. Happy days. Wait, did you get? You said you were gonna get some ranks. I mean, or you want I mean, to I mean, I wanted plat four, but then I mean, I'm gonna get it anyway. No. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm gold two on this uh, account now. Mm -hmm. Had a slight tragedy with uh, Savannah earlier, the Cassidy incident. No. Yeah. But I mean, I mean, I've noticed like, I mean, last season I played with like a duo all the time, mm -hmm. which like high gold, and then just soloed it to plat. Well, I've played like pure solo this uh, season. Yeah. And so it's been like annoying for me because I haven't got someone I can talk to and rely on. Yeah. I mean, it's all fine. I can see her cursor, so that's fine. Can you just spawn a dummy? Shift B. I mean, yeah. yeah. And Probably then just auto there. it. And just like, I don't know, wherever. It's like how you'd play auto. if you were going to like auto it. Like just move around and auto. So you usually click on the ground there. Yeah? Oh yeah, I mean, I target the champ, I don't like right mouse. No, okay. I would, I mean, I'm a bit more accurate than my first one. Hmm, okay. No, that's fine, then you can leave. Uh... There's no funky letters in your name, right? No, 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 it's just is first words. Yeah. It's a bit complicated when I have to do multiple things at once. Yeah, bit the brain rot. Yeah. I'm not sure how the quality is going to be, but I'm going to try and stream it, and uh, we'll see. How's the quality? It's all right. All right. Then I need to tap the stream labs, and I need to there. Uh, yeah. But do you have any like questions in general, like before anything starts or something you wanna uh not not like from I don't know, not from like an item or like from like a looking at a game for spell. I mean maybe I'll see something if you just like scroll down and look at stuff, but I don't know, I don't think anything's like too insane or out of place. I like like from like looking at like OPG. GG. But you like your crit, like you don't like to go. Oh no, I mean I've tr I love your build at like five items. Yeah. But I really hate the early game on it. I really hate like the TMI, I really hate yeah. uh like the build path. I mean if Wits End was still old Wits End, that that's when I first enjoyed your build. Yeah. I love I love Wits End. Mm -hmm. And I think it's like really cracked on second, especially to do a lot more damage. Mm -hmm. Compared to like buying Bork or something, which is like more late game. Um, but yeah, because Wits End is like, because obviously the change, I don't like going uh, your build anymore. Mm. I mean, I, I, did, I played, like, always played crit, so it's just natural for me to enjoy the higher damage build. And obviously, because I play that and I don't play around like the stacking of the enemy in a way. Yeah. It's uh, 
it's like you said, uh, I find your dam your build to do less damage. Obviously, it's, it's yeah. all the benefits. But I mean, that's just like I say, it's just how no. for how I play. It's more I'm used to having like a certain level of damage. Mm -hmm. Maybe if I put more games in the build, I'd like adapt to it. But it's uh, at least it feels like really awkward to play. Yeah, I mean, it's each of their own. There are people that have got Master or whatever with Crit 2. There have been a few instances of uh, high kills and not be able to carry games. No. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to look at everyone. So we tried um, certain Impact or Cheap Shot. I mean, I used to play uh, Sun Impact Relentless, like Season 9. Mm -hmm. Uh Obviously, Rat was doing it, but for the current, I don't find Sun Impact to be like insane, or the fact that the difference it would make would be too big. Okay. So, I mean, when I I played like when Toy Beal was like uh, he he got a master on like two accounts, mm -hmm. and he played uh like the collector, the Kraken collector build or Gale collector. I played a lot of like Halo Blade Switch after that. Mm -hmm. And I didn't find anything insane. And like when I switched back uh, to Lethal, I didn't find. I didn't find. Find anything from playing without it that it's like insane not to have it. Okay. I think Toby also plays, doesn't he? Yeah, he still plays. Yeah. yeah. Cinema. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, I mainly, what am I? I mainly play uh, like the collector Halo Blades type, mainly into shit like I don't know, Carina stuff like that, where I have to sort of like three shot a high priority target, mm. but I normally just don't uh, play the collector style. Well, <laughs> the only thing I really wanted to see was if you were playing. Presence of mind on that. <laughs> I've seen some people play it. Play the uh, the presence of mind the uh, Twitch jungle. Yeah, it's a scary one. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it's not bad, but like you, you, you don't, you should. You be, don't, yeah, you don't. You, I mean, the mana regen in jungle is insane anyway. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I think um, near the top is like. Uh, a fiddlestick, there's like an enemy fiddlesticks game uh, with like a mid duo, and that was like a really hard uh, uh, oh, game yeah. for me to play. It was really awkward because fiddlesticks control warded like my wolves, and mm -hmm. he started on my blue grump, but it oh. was like, really weird to uh, like be perma invaded. Not even with like logic, like sometimes you think, oh, okay, I can sort of think he's here. No. But, like completely devoid of logic. It's a fucking weird game that was. I mean, I really hate Fiddle. Age champion. I don't find him to age if I get with and I might against him, but like, especially as ADC, it's just really annoying to just have that constant like feeling of Fiddle That's being there. Yeah. 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 I mean, it was a Fiddle Z duo. Yeah. Mid jungle. That was uh, not very nice. But okay, let's see. Watch screen. Full screen. Display capture. And then we pray you get jungle. <laughs> Should do. <laughs> Hopefully. Wait, can you see my tabs? Uh, yeah. Okay, you see the music. Did you ban? Yeah. Or... I ban Rengal. Okay. Because I don't really see a... I've never thought Yi's like... Especially with the Dust Blade nerf. Yeah. He's not really insane. Whereas I feel like Rengal can just... Really fuck someone up. Yeah. Just whenever I play like... Low Aloy seems to get picked a lot more. 
I mean, I played one game yesterday on Noigo by myself, and I ended up getting a Yi jungle. But he was a Twitch LP jungle main, and I took his mm. champion, so he picked Yi, but he got, like, stomped. Which is really aid to play against the I, mean, I think Yi's, like, a lot, uh, a lot worse. Okay, that's nice. What do you oh. mean? I'm just, uh... Okay, yeah. I was just seeing what uh, mid lane plays. Yeah, so you don't banish that. <laughs> mm. That'll be a very quick coaching session when he <laughs> runs it down. Yeah. Do you not struggle against Diana? Or... Hold your spell. Camps are respawning faster than. Uh, they regenerate the HP faster than you can kill them. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Raptors are my greatest enemy. Pity the man who tries to level 2 Raptors. <laughs> so, what else is do you struggle against Diana? Uh. I mean, every time I see Diana, it's with the Yasuo duo. Yeah. So, in that sense. Yes, because obviously the Yas win more than like the free CC combo from the uh, the ER and the double R. Yeah. But not not really. I don't really have ever think I've ever had a problem. I mean, I do bad into stuff like let's see the like the Vladimir, mm -hmm. like shit like that on my own team as well as enemy because like it's just a very escapable champ. He's very easy to get away on. Mm -hmm. And so shit like that, I find it hard to gank, because, I mean, I don't play Vladimir, so I don't know his damage spikes. Yeah, it's like this and Vlad, the mid lane is kind of hard to gank. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's just like, stuff like that, and say the Maud at like 6, because obviously yeah. that's the champ that just scales with XP, it's like hard to gank into that. Yeah. I do think, like, Depends on obviously what's picked, but I think some shit's like really bad to play with. Also, do you have like, <clears throat> like if you look at at the team now, do you feel like comfortable? Like certain times you'll look at the team and be like, ah, oh, this is a free win, or like certain things where you just mean, like no. I think, uh, I think this is definitely worse. I think Graves is like really. A good champ, but you can cart around minion waves and shit. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, you have wrong runes. <laughs> yeah, hope he's. Uh, I hope he just, I don't know, falls off his chair this game. You can see Grasp Twitch now. <laughs> for real, for real. Have you watched any other previous videos? Or, uh, not really. Uh, do you mean the coaching ones or? Mm -hmm. I've watched part of them, but uh, I think with when I watch your videos, which is like really slow and boring. No, 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 not not that. <laughs> but I think like your method of explaining things is like complicated or not complicated. Long, long, not no, not com like long winded ish. Yeah. I mean, at least for me to watch, and I don't know whether it's like. And don't take any of this the wrong way. I don't know if it's because like you're Norwegian and you like sort of like think about your words. Cause, I mean, I don't speak a second language, mm -hmm. so it's like. But for me, it's yeah, you know, I think okay, okay. You, like sped up. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think things when you explain could be like really concise, mm -hmm. but sometimes you explain it like longer. I don't know if that's because you're trying to explain it to someone in like layman's terms. If you know what I mean, like simple. Uh. It's a mix of both because mostly I don't want to talk too much now because the game started. But it's mostly because you say like something, you say a concept or like you explain it, but then the concept can be applied or it can work in like so many different ways that it's like really hard to. Um, Strange man. I mean, you didn't ward, but. Make sure that they know how or like what it means, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I don't know, it's obviously. Hard, but it's something I try and think about at least. 
Anyway, what I wanted to say is that I will not say much this game. I'm going to just write down my notepad and then we'll go over it next game because I mostly want to see how you're playing now mm. without any influence. And I might ask you a few things, but most of the time I'm just going to be quiet. Yeah, the clarity. No backseat thing. <laughs> no backseat in. Oh, yeah. No, he's there. Okay, well at least he's really aggressive. Did they use thumbs? <laughs> Probably should have uh, thought of that one a bit sooner. No, I don't know. I, no. so that's, uh, that's the first thing game run down. I don't know if you poison someone I'd be on. I know, I was hoping. <laughs> I mean, I really need them to come, because I can't uh, have a fight safe. That really sucks. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, you have to run. This is really bad, I think. Okay. <clears throat> I was hiding. I was really bad by my soul. Let's try and go one at least. Yeah, I mean, I wanted to flash earlier, but I don't think my flash would be in range to get graves. Nobody complains about vision when they eat him. E6. Don't think that's really a. Uh... Has been 
Okay. Ignore the laughter. I just heard like my dad uh, stop singing. Oh. <laughs> I thought I thought if he opens the door, that'd be uh. Never heard that before in my life, by the way. And I thought the one time on call with someone, it'd be a great idea if he opens the door there. I mean, I think you just get all by mod, if I show. I'm sure if he managed to get off. No, I don't think he did. Where the fuck is Vlad going? Narnia. <laughs> Very easier. How? Uh, I think that's actually just tragedy. Please, not a vision. I wish you waited my stealth. Fish is there. I think I'm a really positive man in chat when it comes to the uh, post game. Mm -hmm. Complete mong mongol, but can't tell him that, I'll run it down. Well. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. You have, to, you have to be a nice man on the front, like a, like a fake persona. Really nice man, playing League of Legends. True, actually. In reality, it's like, thanks for the four deaths, that's real. Hmm. So what's your plan now? I mean, ideally I want... Okay, they don't even have any natural downs. Okay, great spot. CD on that. Okay, my E didn't go off. Okay, done. I mean, I think these people back, but because they are, I think we can uh, kill this. Hmm. Or they're gonna get dove, and maybe I can do something about that. Okay, yeah, he's there. Nice. Very nice. Mm. Don't know where Fizz is. We have been bottling like twice. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, I think top lane's like off limit now. Yeah, you see, brand. Bit early on the stealth, I think. Should be fine. 
As if Vlad wants to go for it. Apparently not. <laughs> I think it was fine. I mean, I think it was Path Krugs, and Graves will be there. I don't know if he wins or loses. Ah, uh, I shouldn't sweep pressure just off then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Watch the back of like a quick tip video if you wanna. No, I mean, I wanted to sweep because I thought I'd have to stealth later, and then he walked up, and I was like, ah, well. I I I only I hadn't seen the video. But I've like I just know from like the sweaty said sweep. I knew these. I knew the tip would be that. Yeah. And like, and as soon as I did it there, I was like, ah, you're brilliant. Why do you have to walk up? I mean, the entire point of most of the videos is to uh, just keep it in mind and be able to catch yourself out like you did now. It's because now you're gonna not gonna do it again at least this game. Nice. I mean. I'm to go in, but uh, oh, how nice! I think I'll kill that. I don't think we've in 50. Mm -hmm. I don't think we can really contest Dragon in like 50. No. Just from the kills. Eed while he's in the thingy there as well. Oh, no, I didn't even eat. Okay, I lie. I lie. Secret. Shush. No, I think Dragon's contestable. Bit nicer situation. No smite. That's a nice stab. And that one that worked somehow. Got a little leash there as well. Yeah, I, I don't know why. I mean, that probably means that's water because you eat the wall, but. Fizz is going to ult him, but I think it's fine. What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think that was my bad. I think I could have... Uh... I think I definitely could have killed uh, Brand. No. That was just bad... Uh, bad... Uh, bad of AEs.
So as an example, against this team here, do you look at Fizz when he engages what kind of abilities he uses? If he uses Q... I mean, yeah, yeah, I don't want his, uh... I don't know if Fizz's abilities, but like the dash, especially. Mm -hmm. And the, uh... Like the actual vault. But... I think uh, in that last fight, or like, early on, less so than I would in like an actual team fight. Mm -hmm. But this is something you can try and actively pay attention to when you go for fights. Yeah, I mean, I try typically use someone who's like a sacrificial lamb. Uh. Like. I think Fizz kills me on this health. Did you see Craves? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the paranoia. He's uh, on your bed most likely. Not having it. I think this is bad here. Yeah. I think I should have went bot. So what's your plan now? What do you want to do? I mean, in the simplest terms, kill him and win the game. But, mm -hmm. I mean, I want to... I don't think I can really kill, like, Fizz or Maud. Mm -hmm. I want to sort of uh, wait for like abilities on Fizz and shit to go, or like keep out of, like more to top now. Obviously, keep out of his all distance. Mm -hmm. I think this would look good if uh, Fizz commits some abilities. I think more is like missing, but. That was quite a flip. Drake spawned, why not going for it? I mean, I wanted my stealth back, but I don't think I'll, I'll get it. It's like this, like, this is where I think my macro like, really falls down. Mm -hmm. It's like, obviously the industry going for Drake. I mean, I know Maud's top, so like, just connecting the dots that he's top, I can just chillax. Usually when the jungler's at least dead, you can start pressuring objectives. But then you have two people dead in that team this time. Cool. Yeah. Shouldn't have ulted. How many have ulted, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I've done a lot more pausing than only with this game. Mm. I'm trying to like really think about things. I think this is a flip as well. Okay, now Graves is. Uh... But what I mean when you ask you what do you want to do, it's not like do you want to kill and the game. It's hold on. No, no, no. I was just. Uh... Oh, that was uh, dodgy one. I was just saw kind of like the actual. It's like a lot of the game. I think there's definitely easier games to like think about. Mm -hmm. Changing to that. I'll give you some examples here. Like, do you want to get the top lane tower? Do you want to get the mid lane tower? 
you want to get bottling tower. I mean, ideally mid. I'd rather crack mid. I mean, bottling is like really low. Do you want to contest Baron, you know, Dragon? Do you want to just farm up? Like, there's so many different things, and that's what I kind of ask you, like, what do you want to mm. do? And if the answer is farm up, then I would ask you, why do you want to farm up? Like, what do you eat? Like, I mean, I'm, I'm strong on, like, my next base, I'm really strong. Mm -hmm. So what do you no, no. want to do after your next yeah, yeah. base? Hmm? What do you want to do after your next base? Uh, I mean, you're contesting, he's been actually 5v5. I mean, I think he's... There, it's a roll-off map. Oh, that's a bit flip. Okay, we saw actually two of them there. We kill that maybe look Nash, but... I think I can kill Vran, because he's gonna... Really bad. Mm. <clears throat> Bit of a questionable decision. It's just smoke screen being really hates. I really want to wait for my uh, ult. Quadra Kilo. I love challenging smite. This is my laugh for challenging smite though. <laughs> I don't think we can Nash. Why not? I don't think we have a... Uh, we can kill it in like 20 seconds. Okay. Was not paying attention there. Not what I wanted. I mean, that smokes me down. I want more to ult someone. Come on, more, please, man. Please. Someone. I mean, I don't really want to ult one. That was also really bad. Should have just flash the uh, ult. This is really bad because it drops. Do they even go to end? Yeah. I mean, steadily. Wait, well, maybe they can't.
He just doesn't care, I guess. He has a glaive. Just tap. Okay. I think it's, it's game over, but as soon as I open, I get all the way. I think a lot of that game was like uh, aimless, at least from me. It's like other games with champions, modern shit and fizz. I like. Hard on other champions to play against. Mm -hmm. At least for me, because like, obviously Fizz has the damage and Mold can just ult. So it's like, got a, you have conditions to sort of meet before you can like open and shit. But do you it's feel like, more like danger. Overthink so more of this game as opposed to normal, or do you feel like this is how normal? I mean, yeah, I feel, I feel like um, I feel like I've definitely questioned my own decision more than normal, mm. and I think like. Like I say, being aimless in a way, like in the mid game especially, like with like towers and what to do, and sort of like, because I feel some. We were like, if it were different champs, I feel like you could, I could do more, mm -hmm. and some obviously you can do less. But I think, yeah, like the mid game was really aimless from me, so I think that's like a big lack of what I like need to actually be understanding and. Yeah. Uh, personally, I think this game here you probably could have won. Like, it's mm. the champions aren't that bad. I mean, Fist obviously in mod Kaisers really aids. Um, I wrote some things down, but I didn't really add that much. I'm gonna go over it anyway. And uh, other than that, yeah, time waste. The only biggest thing I noticed early game, which is probably like the biggest problem, is that you don't farm that much or uh, at all. But I'll mm. show that because I'm gonna go over the game in thingy and then we'll just go quickly over everything. Yeah, um, I, mean, I think with like my blue going and then when I passed back to top side, I did. I really didn't want to do raptors at level two. Mm -hmm. No, you got a really I, awkward start, so that's understandable. And that's like, like normally if like I got the level two bot into like blue grump, it's like pretty chill. Mm -hmm. Then I've got a bit of farm, either a kill or like had impact in a lane. And it's like a normal solid start because if even if it, you don't get a kill, obviously you've got prior bot, mm -hmm. so you can have like a decent chance at crab, like eight percent or something. Yeah. And it's a lot nicer. But yeah, the start was uh, really awkward. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's see. I'm gonna download the game. Then I'm gonna leave that there. You can just look at that, and then. Five minutes, then we'll go over those things, and then we'll start the other game after. Okay? Yeah. Did you get that? 
Did I, what did I saw you say again? Wait, I can't hear you. I Hello? I, oh, no, I <laughs> slid my audio thing. Just five minutes, yeah? And then we'll go over the thing. I'm downloading your replay at the moment, so. Yeah, yeah, no worries. All right, one sec. Okay, um, let me see if I can fix this. Oh, that's not altered. Mm. Properties, display one. Okay, epic pen. What else do I need? Nothing more. Okay, we can just do this first since you, uh, the first thing I wrote down was yellow trinket versus red. Because I noticed you had the yellow one for a long time before you swapped to red. And I thought that first mm. you just were the kind of person that play with red trinket or yellow trinket, I mean. Uh, say, say that again, sorry. I noticed that you had the yellow trinket, the ward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a long time in that game. But do you know why you should take yellow or why you should take red? Like, what the benefits of each are? And the purpose of them? I mean... Normally, I would, like... Obviously, I would... Sorry, go so again. I find it most useful. You but like can't. red versus, sorry, say again. You can't. Oh, I said I'd obviously I said at level nine, mm -hmm. I'll switch to blue. But like before that, I mean, sometimes yellow. I think I did switch, like, stick on yellow. I mean, normally I swap to red quite early on because mm -hmm. like my ward will be down and like the cooldown on ward is quite insane. And normally I like type to the team like if I need like dragon warding. Or like, uh, if the mid lane is like an aggressive mid lane, I'll ask for like a Raps ward. Mm -hmm. Um, well, you know, I would normally say I'm on red, but actually, like, actively, like, choosing a trinket, I wouldn't like know where to like why to choose whatever, like why to choose yellow, why to choose red. Okay. Or like, what what each would be better into? Because I noticed how you used your sweeper wasn't really optimal, because. With Twitch, it's most important to defend your jungle, which is here. Holy shit, that's... <laughs> uh, One second. Let me see if I can fix that somehow. So you're saying we're like sweep for deep wards then? or Yeah. What is this, man? Menu. I mean, I know my like when I went top... My swoop was like really bad, but I thought I'd have to like stealth a lot later walking in. But I can't, I can't like remember actively any of the times I like sort of swept. I definitely yeah. didn't. Uh... Okay, because most of the time, as an example, bot lane when you swept, you would start sweeping. Fuck's sake! Like here, like this is when you yeah. would start sweeping. And so, like, same thing for plane. You'd start sweeping around here. Mm. But the main idea with your red sweeper is to clear this area around your red. Or yeah. alternatively, clear your vision that usually gets per here. Yeah. I mean, just, no, yeah, because obviously normally there's going to be a ward on, like, Blue Grump or that bush that you've just highlighted. Yeah. I guess that foolproofs the gank before you actually... Uh... It's not about ganking, mostly. It's mostly about not getting invaded. Yeah. Because people... Graves, that's an example. Or Mordecai might put a ward here. Or, like, they might even put a pink ward here. So, like, when you come into the jungle, or, like, say you come from mid lane, right? And you come from here. Like, you come here yeah. as a champion. Like, you start sweeping here. And then your sweeper will last you for this ward. Or like this bush, and then you get also to check this bush up here. It's like you will manage to like sweep all these three bushes and make sure that there are no wards in your jungle here. Mm. And same thing here. If you start sweeping, you can start sweeping here, and then you go down. You make sure there's no sweep here. Sometimes they'll put a sweeper or ward here, right? It's like those are the wards you want to sweep for. You you don't want to like here. There's no point. Like early game at least to one level mm. nine, 
Like you just want to make sure there's no wards in your own jungle. And that's that's why you get red. And same thing with yellow. The reason you get yellow is because you want to see if they invade you. So then you'll put your yellow trinket here as an example. Mm. So they both serve the same purpose, but one of them allows the enemy to still see you. So like it's I I personally think it's better to prevent the enemy from being able to see where you are in your jungle and alternatively invade you as opposed to warding and then spotting them when they come to invade you. Yeah. Which is why I take red. But alternatively, what Rat said in his video is he likes to ward so you can see people come to invade him. Right, so you'll like you'll even ward like this push here, right? Because that's an entry. Or like this here, this here. Yeah. Like those are the bushes you'll ward. Right, you can buy a pink, but put it here. You can buy a pink, put it here. I like to put a pink either in this bush or I put a pink in this bush here. Only so yeah. I can have permanent control of my red. In case, as you had this game here, Graves would very often come into your jungle and contest your red at least. Yeah. But I would buy a pink. Yeah, I mean, I expect the I expect the invades. Like, I use W to check like, yeah. the, red, the top red bush. But I do, like, it's nice to hear about, like, uh, I understand what you mean with the like the sweeper. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it keeps you off a of vision as well, so they don't know which way you're going. Say if you're going like, say if you're in red side, obviously you can go top or mid. If you're going to actually like gank, so it just keeps. Uh, obviously, if they don't have vision, you can stealth through like the tribush ward, any of the wards. Because that's an example. If they have a ward here and you're on Raptors, you're gonna spend 15 yeah, yeah. seconds or something to clear this. It's like they can okay. spot you here, yeah. and Graves can be like here doing his blue buff, and he'll make it here. In the time that before you've finished doing Raptors or like just finished it, right? Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's really obvious anyway. If like Red's down and like past top side and Raptors are done, obviously, you're going to Krugs, so we can just wait on Krugs. Yeah. Like, obviously, if you've got no top, but. So, like, you should you should never sweep like past there, just keep your own jungle. Like, second you yeah. enter, like, come from lane or whatever, you get your Red Sweeper, just start sweeping here, just make sure that you're nice and close to you, you know? Yeah, yeah. And that's basically red. Uh, sweeper. Yeah. And then, just to go over your thing here, quickly, at the start, Avro should approach behind, which is the reason why I asked if you call the summoners or not. Because that gank shouldn't have worked, but like, you should have got the summoners, but not kill. From what it looked like to me, at least. It's like you went bot lane. They must up here. Like they're really far up, but like you stopped here and you engaged. Like I would have been here. Like I would have. I wanted to walk. I would have behind. Yeah, behind. So if they flash, then they can't get away from you. Because if they flash, like when you open, you look. Yeah, yeah. You only get one or two autos. Even if I follow the flash of flash, it still yeah. won't work. Like I don't think they used any summoners almost. If any at all. Right, she could have like maybe flashed and got away, or you would have had flash at least, right? Ah, uh, the heal. It's so, like this wasn't guaranteed kill. Like, this no, could... no, she definitely got out. Ah. Yeah. It's like always try oh. and come from behind. Same thing applies to top lane. They just preferably I like to come here and then walk behind them. Right. Hmm. Um. I, mean, I think the thing with like bot lane especially, it's the fear of getting turned on two for one. Yeah. And I think I think top lane and mid lane's obviously not if it's like a fizz or like an assassin, but it's easy to do on like some top laners, most mid laners, uh obviously not into fizz, you can just like zoom through you. There are no but, champions like, top lane that you have to be scared of to put it that way, because you are going to be level mm -hmm. two and they're gonna be level one. I mean, I think with the bot lane, it's like, I think even if I was behind them, I think like, the Yumi on me was like, for that gank, very critical. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think like, I've had a lot of, for me, bad experience going bot lane and like, being behind them. Like, it's sort of safer to be like, semi behind them, semi... I mean, I was. I think my running up here is like bad. I think like to get further, like more distance. Than they they're already me. going in, so like they can't turn on you and kill you. Or they, 
because they don't spell yeah. it's like it's champion wise too if it's like a leona and samira or something maybe yeah you have to like take into consideration the champions like here it's brand he has no w it's on cooldown he only has auto attacks jinx has q N no spells they only have auto attacks mm. you're not gonna die they're also coming right yeah like I definitely would have come here. Like you might have even got both of them, perhaps. I mean, not for sure, but. This was like a really good position for you, though, to like come in because they were so far shoved up. Yeah. It's like you maybe could have got both there in a different scenario, but in general, I would have at least tried to come from behind. Okay, then it's the grave swing. I want to say it was yeah. nice of you to recall because your volume was not dumb. That was naturally too dumb. I mean, I don't think it ever should have happened. Like I said, I can't go for the grunt mm -hmm. because I can't like verify if he's on it or not. I mean, I probably would have gone here, but I think recalling is probably the best thing. I mean, I just didn't want him to like be taking it close to the bush. Like my bot lane was on vision for uh, like obviously the minions. Yeah. And I don't want him to like eat towards me and just like shoot me. But I mean, with general... health, I, probably, I probably could have been. I would have been fine with like obviously I had flash. I had like quite a high health. Mm -hmm. It was fine just recalling that because he didn't waste time and like it was the a safe way. Obviously, you're an awkward spot here. Like. This is fine. Yeah, stuck level 2. I would have definitely hit this as an example. Just checks if all the camps are down. And then just another thing here. Like, this is a lot of time waste for me. Like, when the wave is like this, you could, like, shove it in. Like, you could yeah. really shove it in. Or, like, at least you could take more. You know, get level 3 at least. Like when you have an opportunity like this to get levels next to or whatever, then I would definitely take some advantage of that. Yeah. And then next one is 7 minutes. It's like here, yeah, taking this blue burst time. The safest play would obviously be to take your bet, but this is also fine. You don't have a command start. Like, I was worried you wouldn't start trying to take from. That would have been a problem. Plus. I mean, I knew um, Graves would be on his way, mm -hmm. so I'm sure he was hot side before. So I'm sure he saw him on, if you go back a bit, it was on a Raptor's ward, I think. Uh, like, I'm sure uh, if you go back in the time. How far? Uh, yeah, yeah, about say. Ah, he so he died mid. Okay. See, I think it's like I know I could still get one camp. Yeah, this is like, fine. Like I, I wouldn't have gone for the other ones. Like this is fine. I'm saying it's good that he didn't go for more. Hmm. <clears throat> then we start talking the time waste here. Like, okay. As a question here, like you're level 5, right? You are about to hit level 6. Yeah. Like, when you get 6, what do you want to look for? I mean, obviously, you play with like my ultimate. Mm -hmm. so it's like it's like AD and obviously the range. Mm, where would you I want don't to think... go? I don't want to go top lane, because like I said, I don't want to get 1v1 by Maud. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's either obviously, for me, it's bottom or mid. So probably, because mid lane's a very slippery champion, and I have Vladimir, it'd probably be bot lane. So I'd like to just get this, I probably should get this recall and like try, at least in like, if they didn't like die here, or whatever the fuck was going on, like bot lane. Mm -hmm. I think that's like the target that's, the most guaranteed, especially because I'll be higher level than them. I mean, this is like a general thing. You'd have to like take into consideration it being this game. It's just like every time you get six or whatever. 
Mm. Because like there's two champions spot lane, and what what happens when you kill two champions? Well, she uh, tilt two of them. What, I, what do you get? Them, what do you gold. get? A double kill. And what does that give? Seven hundred gold. And what does top lane give? Three hundred. Yeah. So it's more money. It's like the the most you can get, like the mo where you can milk the most money in spot lane with like two kills. Yeah. So do you try to always look for like a bot plate at level six if like the lane's even? Yeah. Even if it's ahead, like yeah, like there's no threat here. Like that all I have to do here is dodge band Q and like alternatively like it's W. Like if I see like shutdown and jinx something, I'll be like, I'm I'm getting that shutdown, you know. Get my red yeah, I know sky, they whatever. Stayed, like, I think that the bot lane like they stayed for a long while. Because they had mm -hmm. kills, they had they clearly had gold, but they stayed on like Components instead of like basing. Mm -hmm. Well, this was. Uh... Here comes the time waste. Yeah. Like, this wasn't too bad, this was fine. I'm not sure what that happened, but like, after this, yeah. Yeah, chasing for zero. Mm -hmm. And then. I was hoping you flipped down, but. And then I tried to fight. Shut down. And then... Yeah, go Krogs. Well, probably should just based. Yes. Because you have 1.5k gold. Yeah. And... So it's like you say, you're wasting time, you could be clearing things quicker and just leave them. Yeah, recall. Or your camps are up. Like, you can just recall. Mm. Head towards bot lane, you're level 6, you know. Have your items. And you keep yeah. farming. And now you're gonna see a consequence of that. You get punished for your mistake, huh? Yeah, so I've got... Well, You've I got know. 2k gold almost. In your inventory. And then you try and kill the scrapes. But then you realize that 2k gold doesn't do any damage. And the only thing doing damage here is your noon cover, not your 2k, you know? Mm. It's like you pick out like boots and a dagger. Yeah. Do you think you would have killed Gravestone? Or no? Yeah, definitely. Exactly. So like, you should recall a long time ago. Like these two camps here, I don't care. Like you'll clear them in twice the speed with a recall, you know? Yeah. And obviously. And that leads into the later yeah. game, more money later, right? Yeah. And something I noticed from looking at your OPG is like you have three point five. 5, 4 CS, something average, right? And I think this probably is in, like, your major issue at least. I would assume, without looking at other games, is that this might be something that happens very frequently. Yeah, so obviously the more gold income. Yeah. It's like, when you have... It's a golden rule, generally. As long as nothing is going on, Take account. And you have 1k gold in the inventory. Recall. Spend the 1k and then... Like, anything under 1k is usually fine. But, like, when you are getting to 1k, 1.5k, then you should recall. And spend it. Mm. And then get back on the map. Mm. I didn't really write anything down here. Like, this is fine. Got the money back for the shutdown. Mm, and then it's 12 wait, minutes. Wait, wait, wait. It's like here. Yeah. This is why I, why I asked you if you pay attention to what spells fist use and stuff when you fight. <coughs> I would think. Oh no, this is just... I mean, all the stunning still in the game was like, 
Normally I don't, I'm just trying to think about like the actual the best play to possibly do. Mm -hmm. I like how you could have gone for the smite, but I mean that's not really like anything to write down. Mm. But yeah, what's the standing still thing? Just like having which you experience. I mean it's just not in this sort of game it's like because I wasn't like certain of the right play, especially like I don't I can't fight Graves. I don't think I can fight Maud without the ult. And like I wanna play bot lane, but Fizz was always like roaming. Mm -hmm. Or like say he's down there like now when I was like top side. And it's sort of just finding like I I mean I wanted to play bot Fizz, uh Maud and Graves are like not easy for me to kill. Mm -hmm. But it's just obviously finding the time to Well not, not the time to say but yeah. Like it's just uh, when I'm not bot side or when bot side like have fizz down there, it's and like I've got no camps. It's just what to do in like that downtime. You go on me. I mean the answer to like what to do if there's like just nothing to do then it's spam. Mm. Well, like if something happens bot lane, then like obviously you should try and make a play top lane as. In Alternatively, there is no other optimal on Twitch is to like take her old gang top lane, you know, take your stop mm. side jungle if you see them all bot lane. Because by the time you walk there and do something, it's gonna be over and done, right? So it's generally just farming then. But uh, we'll get to that after. No, it's just the fights here. Let's see. Oh yeah, this was a sweeper thing. Because <coughs> now you have red smite, I'm pretty sure, yeah. It's like you start sweeping here. It's like we talked about... We mentioned this earlier in top lane here, and then now you did it again. On bot side. It's so like, as I said, like, now it's bad to sweep. I mean, it's not that applicable, applicable now. Because you are, like, later into the game. The same. Yeah, it's still the same concepts. Yeah. Because when he's self and... if it was warded, yeah. I mean, if it was warded, like, around, like, Dorgrom, obviously Jinx went to the ward there. Like I said, the, so the point of sweeping, like, so late is worthless anyway. Mm hmm And there's, like, a... I think this is the moment. There's, like, a thing that people struggle with in Twitch, or, like, a mistake people make. It's that... My auto's are banned, so I definitely could have auto attacked him. No, 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 that's fine. Yeah, I think it comes in. Yeah, it's like right after I kill something and when they're all dead. Stealth. Yeah. Try and like leave it up and not waste it. Yeah, I mean, it's like a habit, I guess. Yeah. I'll write it down after so well. I mean, I, I was like, I, I started playing like Twitch Jungle, especially when the, uh, do you remember when the glitch was in where you could stealth the free after? No, I don't think so. It was yeah. like uh, late season nine, but you could stealth for free, and it would cost no mana after uh, a kill. And it was a complete bug, but that was like in the game. Oh. So yeah, no. I do agree, like, the yeah, stealth is like, there was no point to that. It's just the thing people do. Whenever they get killed or something, they'll just re-stealth and then break it or just stealth away. And then one second they are like, a bit later, they'll need the stealth, but then they won't have it because they're just used to that. Mm. Like stealth discipline, I guess you can call it. Now should come the fight. Because like here, right? Like when you enter this fight, what do you want to see? The Fizz, like, dash and the Vault, or the mm -hmm. Fizz R. Like, so use his Q. Has it E still? Yeah, 
I walked up into the Brandar as well. Yeah. I think I should like walk forward. I would have waited there, yeah, because like that has no use to be here. Yeah. It's like when you don't see his E and like Brand's there, you go very good now. Because Brandon's away. Or I would approach it very like calmly, I wouldn't like go for an engage. I would auto yeah, W and just wait. That's an example. But like the ult, I definitely wanna, wouldn't want to take. Well, like I would have gone down here. I'll turn to try and go for the band. But like this fight here, I wouldn't want to like try and commit too hard into. Cause like, yeah, shit still kind of. Because like you see his E still up, or like he hasn't used this, so you kind of want to like wait for that and then fight, right? Like you don't want to commit into this still. So what you need then, as I said, you need to do like an auto attack W and then walk back a little bit and then kind of like wait for him to use his E and then you can fight. Like you can't commit into this because he can just dash, you know? Yeah, just vault towards. Yeah. And also another thing here is like the way you choose to stand. Like I would try and be like here. Yeah. As opposed to here. You see the difference? I mean, one, I'm a lot closer to the tower. Uh... Like I can just go back and I'm in tower range. Where if like where am I now? I've got like double the distance to tower. Mm -hmm. And obviously the minions are up there as well. So Fizz will take minion damage if he jump if he bolts to me. What's this? A wall. Yeah. So you limit your movement a lot by walking here. Like a lot more like stuck. You know? Yeah, like now it becomes top awkward, you see. No, like yeah, pinned into nah. the wall. Yeah, like if I was at the top where you said it'd be like forward and back. Instead That's of a... Yeah. I'd never pass if I, like when I walked into I'd never pass into a spot where I can't back out. But again you have to like consider the champions, you know? Like this is piss. He has new Z, so you can't fight like Fully, because the next thing he'll do, like he can ult you here, mm. and then eat you, and then after that's happened, then you can like start committing, if you have to like take those abilities. Like up until then, you just have to play defensive. But yeah, it's so, like again, you can do an auto attack and then W and then weave out, like just go back again. Yeah, I think I think I definitely got chilled a bit more with it. Yeah. Obviously, Vad's gonna come out cool and he's got red Q. So I'll definitely try and pay attention more to what champions abilities they have what potentially can be used, and then play around that. Yeah. And then it's the same thing here, around 18 minutes. Might be before. Time to fight the Fennis so. It's 
like one example. I probably would have auto attacked here and like opened, but you don't have flash. So. I, mean, I, was very, I was scared of the face. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. Like this wasn't too bad. I mean, it was done just fine. Then. I mean, no, I think like. I don't want him to come near me, so I want to like take the health off of him. Mm -hmm. Uh, and like I want, I don't want to, like continue, like just walk away from him. Because to me, it's like, it's like I said at the start, like assassins, I struggle against. Like obviously the high like chance of just getting popped. Mm -hmm. And like my positioning, and like I find games against assassins or like burst a lot harder than obviously champs that Twitch would be better into. Well, everyone wants to be an assassin player. Yeah. <clears throat> and here comes like the awareness thing after, right? Because this is when I asked you if you saw Graves or not, because you barely spotted him here at one point, mm -hmm. like either just before this or now. And he leaps over to your bed. And at this point, you had no HP. But he didn't go, luckily. I mean, if you didn't say it, I definitely would have just walked it red. Yeah. Yeah, normally, if I, if I use up, I uh, I try like W, but because it was down, I didn't. I wouldn't bother to wait it out. Like I know, I was just auto path straight to red. But yeah, I did not see him. So I, mean, I think the game is a pretty good example of like I struggle with like. The, bit, the components to winning the game, so say, I got ahead of in the game. Mm -hmm. But like, the actual, the, the carrying yeah. is a lot, is like hard in this game. Like, I wouldn't know how to, like, not act in a way, but like, actually how to kill. Like, see, it's if you get a kill, and it's then just, it's like the Baron situation, like, later on. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I don't think I can do it, but it's just like, I don't have the no like knowledge to like like it's like say like A happens, B what's your answer? And I won't be able to like instantly go, okay, I've, this has happened, I do this. And okay. it's like the questioning in decisions. But that's a perfect example of that. Graves this is dead. Dragon's about to spawn, what do you do? Path to wolves, which is like really bad. You should have like this first for like dragons. Like, I mean, the only dragon I really don't care about is Cloud. But like this one here, I see this spawning, I will literally just claw my way to it, you know? Like, I'll do anything to get to it. I mean, especially with the Yumi on me, I don't think could kill the King's Brand. Or like, at least outplayed it or dodged the stun or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and here comes like the problem. Like, now, what have you done? What did you just Massive. do? Dragon walked on a pink. No, I mean, what did you do here? What did you just do? Like from uh, well, kill dragon and then yeah, you kill dragon. So now yeah, the question is, what's on. next? Hmm. Like dragon, next dragon. Okay, every objective in the game you want to fight, you want to take them right. So as an example, dragon. You want dragon, right? Dragon spawning in five minutes. You want in five minutes. You want the dragon. So of course the question is, what do I need to get the next dragon, right? Not necessarily right now, but it's something you should think about, right? It's like a huge thing for next dragon example would be hurricane. So you want to finish hurricane, yeah. right? You have five minutes to do that, so you don't necessarily want to do that. Like need to do that now. Okay. So obviously you want next dragon, and you have a plan or idea of what you want or like what you have to do to get the next dragon. So now the next question is, since that's five minutes in tour, then, okay, you don't really need to think about that right now. Like, now it's more like, what else is there to take? Okay, so yeah. you have mid tower, you have bot tower, you have top tower, you have baron. What do you want to do? I mean, I know, I know, like, at the time, I said mid tower, but that's just because it opens up the map. I mean, mm -hmm. bot tower is, like, really low, but then I don't want them choosing Nash. Uh... So I sort of like mid tower would probably be the best to crack and the best to actually like pressure, mm -hmm. uh, and that's probably what I should have like tried to force. Yeah. Alternatively, as an example here, 
if Mitar isn't possible because you are zero or ten or something, that's something else. But like at this point here, you are you have kind of like got the lead up position, you know. So yeah, like the question is, do you need anything more to get this turret, or like is this something you can get within the near future that's not going to take ten minutes to get for you to feel confident in like being able to take this tower? I mean, I don't think like I say, I was, I'm seven with gold off ruins. Yeah, so you can uh, farm that if you want. Yeah. I mean, obviously, the rune on this before next dragon is what I need to get. Mm -hmm. But I think I'm definitely on Wits, Wits Kraken, Three Daggers, and like Boots. I definitely think it's possible to get the uh, tower. Yeah, so then you can start getting that. Like, again, you have 1k gold, right? Like, you can recall. And then ping mid, say, take mid, right? And then mm. you go mid lane. Did you, um, like, at this point... Like, obviously, taking it alone would be, like, scary, because, like, I don't have vision in, mm -hmm. uh, like, either river. And all of them are off-map, apart from Bran, which I was, like, trying to cheese in stealth. So, for this, would you, like, type to the team or, like, ping, or, like, spam ping to try crack the tower and try to get, like, people mid? Okay, what I would do, or what I tend to do... I mean, especially with the Yumi, this becomes easier. This is, like, a good thing you can do. Okay. So, of course, you can say come mid lane. But if not, then one thing you need to do is apply pressure. Like, you can't do this. What you need to do then is kill these minions. They mm. die. If you're by yourself and only Yumi. You kill these minions, they die. Then you go back. And then you can linger here. You go stealth. Right? You leave stealth, and then you walk here. And then you can enter the exact same position that you're in now. Uh, can, you, can you repeat, can you repeat uh, what you said? You, like, lagged out. Okay. So like from from like the, from like the ghost elf from like the position like yeah you, when you circle. you kill this wave okay okay we can do it like this is this an immediate threat to the enemy do they need to deal with the situation now no cause it's not a tower yeah so what you need to do you need to create a situation that the enemy has to react to or respond to yeah right they don't need to respond to this Jinx can be like oh nice farm I can go take this. Is that likely going to happen? Maybe. Like anyone might I mean, go. I noticed, um, hmm? like with with what I was doing like now, I really wanted the brand to walk up and like W the wave, mm -hmm. and that's why I was waiting there to like cheese it. But I, I know that's like a very coin flip play, and I know that's like because I didn't know what to do. It's like taking a risk for an opportunity to like kill the brand, and I know I I, I think I killed him here and like altered him, which I didn't need to all. Um, yeah, but we'll take that after. Because what you do, you create the same situation you're doing now, but you are, you're more likely to make the enemy come and even push out after. Because right now, they don't need to respond. Like, Brand might feel the need to go ward or something, because he doesn't feel like an immediate like presence or need to respond or do anything mid lane. So he might even wander off and ward right now. But by killing this wave, right, and as I said, you stealth up here, you walk down then, and you can even go into the same position here. But what you've done then is you've shown yourself mid lane, you've killed these minions, they're into tower, and that, like, pings the enemy brain. Like, enemy mid, enemy mid, respond, respond, take farm, defend tower, you know? Yeah. It's like, even Jinx I mean, might even feel compelled get, like, to come. Um, yeah, like I so I was going to say, like, even if I, like, did do that and shoved it in, Obviously, with like the restyle thing, with me having ultimate hunter, I can still commit the ultimate to it because Brand would probably like W E the wave, and then he's not got a stun up or like to obviously throw at me. If like obviously I committed the ultimate when I killed mm -hmm. him, so if I was like obviously I've got ultimate hunter, I might as well commit the ultimate when he's on the tower. See if Jinx comes, and like Brand would obviously use spells on the wave, so it's just even safer just to ult him. Yeah, but you can do this as many times as you want. You kill this wave, they shove in. You go up here, you stealth, and then this way, this wave goes into turret, and then you're standing here. Okay, only brand shows. Okay, fine. New wave comes in here. New wave comes in here, and then you kill their wave. You proceed. You repeat. You go up here, stealth, sit here again. This is now number two. Number two. Okay. You go here. Our only brand store again. He clears the wave. Fine. New wave comes in. This is wave number three. You go up here, stealth, go down again, okay, still nothing happening, fine, new wave comes again, you know, it's so like on the fifth turn, you do this, you kill this wave, kill this wave, 
And then suddenly, Brand comes on the fifth wave. Brand comes, Jinx comes, and they're all standing here. Perfect. Now you open kill them, right? It's like mm. you don't need to commit. All you need to do is apply pressure and then wait for the position or like just, yeah, just what you want. Situations that you want. Yeah. yeah, you can. You're free to like repeat this process as many times as you feel necessary until you get what you want. You know, like you want you want Jinx to come here, kill this wave, go up here, wait. This shoves in. Wait until Jinx comes. Just repeat the process. You're not gonna die until then. Right, you kill this wave, you leave, you stay here. You just kill this, leave, stay here. Then you go stealth, alternatively, go down. Right, and you can just repeat this process as many times as you want. And now we'll see what happens here. Because, like, now he might go up, he might not go up. He has no reason to go up, right? And, like, Jinx is down here. Like, if you if you showed mid lane before this, cleared this wave, I'm almost willing to bet money that Jinx will be mid lane right now. Yeah. I just go to the immediate fall. Like, this is fine, but like, it's not gonna. It's just a kill, you know? Mm. It doesn't really, like, lead to anything. But of course, before this, I would have liked to, like, say, take mid lane or something, or just ping once and take mid, and then just shove the wave, walk away, and just stand here, just apply pressure, you know? Just force them to, like, be mid lane. And I'll turn. And in turn, Estral will shove mid lane. That might do something top lane, but just yeah, you know. I, mean, I think the thing like this game, it's like, it's like I say again, especially with like the fizz and the graves and shit and shit that's like aggressive that can kill me. Mm -hmm. and, like having no vision, it's like it's a lot less comfortable for me to do like not flippy plays, but like do plays where I don't have the vision and I don't have the knowledge of like where like there's the one v one champs that can one v one me are. Mm -hmm. But like, well, obviously, like even with shoving, like you say, it's a very safe thing if you shove the wave, and I can see who appears to the wave. Yeah, if you stand here, if, kill if, this wave. No one's gonna be able to come in and just kill you. Yeah, because I mean, obviously, like you say, if Brandon Jinx are in mid tower, then Fizz is getting no farm if he's waiting around. So he probably go somewhere else. So, it's, like you say, you're probably gonna get an engage on one or two people. Yeah, and you have a ward here, so you know they're not gonna come. So you just walk up here, stand here. So you, you'll mm. alternatively want to be on this side here because you have vision. You always want to be towards the side you have vision on. You don't want to stand here because you have no vision. But you have a ward here at least. So this is your safer the area. Safety, yeah. Mm. Same thing if you're playing mid lane. You always want to hover towards the side that you have vision on. Or you want to hover towards the side which your jungler is on. You know? Okay. Mm. Du -du 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 -du. I think the next thing is the Quadra, which is really what I want to mention. Like you see here now, they're just repeat processing, right? So like they're not going to show up longer, they just stay here. Mm. And now they spread out again. Alternatively, you want them all to come mid lane again, you can shove the waves, force the mid lane. Um. But I think like the biggest thing I wanted to mention here now is the Quadra. I mean, that was like hard in. Oh yeah, this is one you... That the hair was fine, but it's just the champions that really aids and it's more extreme. I mean, I definitely think... I should've just backed off. Yeah. Like, I should've just W behind me and backed off. It was really in. Like, you don't really want to go to these places when you have flash. Because you have, like, there are certain spells you have to dodge. And two guy get things. Just another thing to mention here. Like two times this game, you had Fizz ultimate on you, and then you flashed onto your teammates. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Lines. Mm. I mean, like I said, I definitely should have like, flashed the uh, the Fizz R. Like here is an example. Like they have fed characters, right? But this is where I felt like you were overthinking a lot because, like. Fizz and Mordecai are fed and Graves a bit too, but like the best thing you can probably do here is look to kill Brandon Jinx, and then by killing mm. those two, then you guys should be able to kill Fizz, as an example, and Mordecai's are, or whatever, right? It's so like if you see more, yeah. It's a very, it's a very messy fight. I mean, I wanted to go for, like further bot side, so mm -hmm. I don't really want to fight here where like it's two directions, so I can't ult them all. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Maud was there, so that's why I backed up. 
And then I don't feel that I could like really go in in the moment because like the mortal and shit. So I don't feel that I could like walk up to Vlad mm -hmm. at like like right now. And I just felt like the fight was like really sloppy. Not just like just because I can't go in. So like say I'll get like mortaled. And obviously Ezreal is not going to like suicide himself and take the uh, mortal. Mm -hmm. I think even if like the mortal to it's still the the fizz. So I still think I think it's just like a hard, especially for me and like the confidence of like versus the burst on like or the mortal. It's like normally if there's like just the mortal say, mm -hmm. and like say if the mid laner was like a mage or something like looks, like yeah there's still shit to like dodge and shit, but it's a lot less of a threat than the fizz. Mm -hmm. And I just think it's like. I think with like the, the multiple threats, like if you gotta have like multiple conditions, it's like I've always explained to like my mates and shit that I play with. It's like I've got to wait. Malphi is like the easiest thing to explain. Like, I've got to wait for Malphi. Mm -hmm. Or like with the model and like the fizz, there's like multiple things where it's like these team fights for me are the hardest because I have to open to like tilt the scales in our team's favor. Mm -hmm. But. But Mordekaiser and Fizz don't really have to do anything, or if Fizz goes in, Mordekaiser can just like chill. Mm -hmm. So like they don't have to commit the Mordal, or if like do you know what I mean, or if Mordal someone Fizz yeah, can always yeah. linger. So it's like I've always it's like I'm the one under pressure to open and to like do damage, where they mm -hmm. can sort of chillax and win the fight if I don't open. But if I do open, they can just jump on me. If you like understand. Yeah. So that one thing I was looking at is the plant. It's like you could have took this plant here and jumped over. Yeah. It's like when you're in a situation like this, you can't, as you said, go past the mod. So mm. alternatively, you go for the mod, open forces ultimate, and then just stay away and wait for it to run out and just intentionally take it, just having a plan on how to escape it. Or you look for an alternative angle. You know he's here, so you go here, you can go down here, or you can just walk around. Like Because this angle, as you say, if you don't want to take the mod Kaiser ultimate, this is a dead angle. You have to look for a new one. I mean, I think I have, um, I think I have like a massive hesitance as well. Mm -hmm. Like, ult, a singular person. I mean, I think without, um, like if I took the plant, like where I am now, like the brand was there, obviously not. I was... The plant, I think it would be a, uh, I'd like to ult the brand to kill him, mm -hmm. so he would be back on, like, seeing me. It's like, yeah, it's simple. Of his soul. Mm. It's like another negative. I'll go there. Okay. <laughs> Might have uh, accidentally killed Vladimir there. Yeah. But like, one of the things you have to take into consideration when there's a team fight, and it's only one person. Right? Say here is an example. And you open on the mod, right? With the ultimate. You shoot yeah. here, hit mod, right? His instinctive reaction is to run towards you, right? You you shoot him, it's fine. But then fists and also they're gonna see you and they're gonna like come towards you, you know? It's like yeah. just by opening on this one person with the ultimate, if the other people are retarded, they're gonna walk in behind them and then also get hit, you Take know? damage. Yeah. yeah. So like, just I mean, basically show you yourself. Want to... Like, I definitely think it was just really... ...badly played by me and Messi. Mm -hmm. It's like... It's one of them fights where, like I said, like, the conditions to fight are really hard and I don't want to, like, ult one. And then, like, the rest of the team... Cause, like, with my, with, with my ult, like... If something happened, I feel like I could like, like get good damage off. Mm -hmm. But it's like if I don't have my ult, I'm like the same as Jinx in a way. Obviously I'm fed, but I'm just a standard sort of Jinx. I binned it and got yeah. hit by Fizzar. I think probably the best chance we was probably like flashing the Fizzar and then ulting. Because uh, so that's when like a few of them walked in. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is like the shit that I obviously I struggle with. No. Do you want me to talk about a little bit about this, like place here? Or... 
I mean, I, I was, I knew it was really bad place to fight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because it's like, it's like I said, I wanted to force like the start of the fight. I ping, like to go down. <laughs> like I wanted to fight like near the bottom bush and like so I can actually have like space. Yeah. But obviously Morda's there, so I backed up, and then everyone like no was all in that tunnel. Just quickly, because this isn't a choke point. This is like a bad spot to like stand in, because you have two walls. Yeah. So, like, where this becomes a good or like good place to fight is if the enemy is standing if we're here at the back. and you're standing yeah, here. Yeah, we're at the back. Like it's then it's a tunnel. good place because then it's like a choke point, you know, and you have like the freedom mm -hmm. to continue. So you never want like just stand here and fight because, again, enemies can be like you're standing here, which means enemies are either here, 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 here. Yeah. yeah. It's like your ultimate can either go on one of them. I mean, I want it, like I say, I wanted to go bot, and I know it's like I did not want to stand there, and like I know it's the shit, mm -hmm. but it's like I still wanted to like be around. So obviously, the dragon is like every contesting dragon, but I never found. It's like obviously when I got hit by the fizz, oh, I managed to like break it out. And like, like when the mod especially nearly dies. But I think like yeah, it's very hard to look like, on my own at least break out. And like here's the thing, like you've killed everyone but one, right? Mm, so the tower on Ash. Yeah, like you have to do something. You just wipe out down. But... Trying to think now <clears throat> how to put this down. But I mean, this isn't so much tied to Twitch as opposed to like everything else, because it just goes to like how to what objectives take or like how to. Decide on what to do or how to play the game, basically. Mm. And not wasting time. So, yeah, I'll write down. Uh, major, I would say, like the biggest problem you have is the obvious tempo problem in terms of mm. farming, camps, resetting when you have. A lot of money, so you can clear faster. Not take fights with 2k gold in your pocket. Minor team fighting. A uh, general problem, like, thing, keep in mind what abilities champions have. Are they used? What did you call it? Your term for it, it was checkpoint, no. Conditions. Uh, like, certain conditions are met. Yeah. Make sure your conditions are good. This as an example. Hopefully that's my internet warning. Okay, we're good. Um, e on CD. Blue team double kill. Bolt. Blue team slain the dragon. Aced. In fighting positioning, try not to lock yourself next to walls. Have good space to move. Uh, macro Red Team's turret has been destroyed. Dragons, towers, baron. Yeah, so it's more play objective, play objective. Red team's turn force to it. Know when you can force, what you need to take next objective. Have an Red idea of to how to play or how the fight goes in your head with your current items. And this comes down to like why it's good to like know your build, you know? Because like you know, like as a general idea, like when you're at, say, this point where we spoke about the 18 minutes round mark. No, it's her ahead. Yeah, it's so like this point here, right? You don't have Hurricane yet. Like, as an example, like at this point here with this these items, if you attack Jinx, like, how fast does she die? 
like just generally like how you have like a general idea of like how fast you can kill yeah her, right? I, I, I know i definitely i know i can kill her at that point definitely with like the witch cause she's got runes mm -hmm. and i know it's gonna take like visualizing in my head five six seconds something like that probably say six or seven seconds to like kill it maybe for maybe six six seconds and like six eat, seconds and to just... kill chains yeah something like that at least in my head with your ultimate up or not no nah, just without like just on a 1v1 without all okay I know, actually, six seems a bit long in my head. Maybe five. <laughs> <laughs> like, actually counting out the seconds and, like, visualizing it. But, like, as an example, if Bandon Jinx are stacked here, like, they, they should die in, like, four or five autos. Yeah, like, yeah, five like autos, four, you know? yeah, four or five seconds. Like, five auto attacks, something. It's like they die mm. relatively quick. It's like. You look at the team here, your idea is like, okay, I need to kill Brand Jinx. This is going to be slippery, really annoying. Mordekai is going to ult me. Um, so I need to like try and avoid Mordekai, so maybe side lane or something. If Mord's side lane, mm -hmm. one, my condition is met, like, okay, Mord's not a problem. Out of the equation, okay, next problem, smoke screen, Graves, fine. But if you see a situation where it's only Brand Jinx and like Graves and them are not there, yeah, you know you can like kill them fast enough before forward, they yeah. can like stop you, you know? Yeah. And then the remaining two are fists. Okay, it's ultimate, whatever. Can he kill me instantly? No, I have wit sand. Like, he might chunk me for like 8%, but I should be good. It's like, if I kill Brandon Jinx, I should be fine, you know? Mm. And then you have those conditions, and then you push mid, you kill Brandon Jinx. Okay, fine, it's only them two left, and then you know you can get the tower, you know? So, like, you need to, like, know what you need to do, and then, like, based on what happens, then... Yeah, you have, like, a flow chart to sort of, like, this, then that, then that, then that. Mm-hmm. It's like, I know I can get this tower if I kill Brandon Jinx, then I, I'm not going to die to Graves and Fist because I they can't kill me. Like, they can't just yeah. outright, like, run on me and kill me. Like, they can't, like, in this current situation. With with Yumi on you, of course. Mm. Right. It would be different if you didn't have her. But it, it's, like, one of the more important things, just, like... Five minutes ahead, dragon's about to spawn, right? Dragon's really important. It's like just having a plan in your head, like, what items do I need to kill this entire team here? Okay. To kill them all in a dragon fight, hurricane, obviously a big plus. Wit sand gives me some ability against fists, blah blah blah. Additional damage, tankiness towards Mordekaiser. I have Kraken Slayer, okay, that's gonna help me crack Jinx and Brand's score, you know, okay, that's really cool. You know? It's like mm. okay, three items. That's if I have those three items and I have my flash up. Then we are gonna win Dragon Fight, eighty percent chance, you know. Yeah, I mean, I think the preparation for it is like really bad as well. So like, we have no wards mm -hmm. around Dragon, so it's hard to see where they're coming from. Like, obviously, when I walked down in like earlier fight, like we didn't know that Maud was like coming out of the bush, and I think like with how they split, it was like obviously just bottleneck to us. Yeah, and I, think I did like a really bad job of trying to get out to that spot, and then on top of that, like. Trying to actually get into a fight. I mean, I know Vlad was like really low health, uh, and I know, but obviously Maud was like out the fight as well. So it's only really Fizz to worry about, and like Grave Smoke Screen. Yeah, hit by Fizz R, it'd be a uh, a lot more playable. But I had Flash, so I should have just flashed the uh, the Fizz R and then like altered when he was walked up, like walking up. It's just one game, so I feel like this is like a good conclusion. There's one more thing I kind of want to mention, but I figured we'd do that after the next game. Because mm. I don't want to like just talk for uh, one hour about this and then go into the next game. I kind of wanted to spread out a bit, you know? Yeah, yeah. But what we're going to do mm -hmm. now, you probably know. I mean, play another one. Yeah, but I'm going to play with you now. Okay. I'm going to go a little oh. mid lane and then I'm going to try and pile you a bit. And like push you towards doing things and be more active in terms of like what you need to do. Mm. Hopefully, I get a little at least. If not, I can dodge and go another account. <laughs> if this champion or account has it, yeah. Okay. First words. Yes. Okay, I just need the toilet real quick. You can go yeah, for no a quick buy as well if you want. Mid and no, I'm chilling. support. Do I go? Yeah. One second.
You can stop streaming, by the way. I'm not that good. I can't watch your screen and mine at the same time. <laughs> okay. Saves my internet anyway. And hopefully mine. <laughs> What's even up your internet anyway? Uh, I don't know. Should we fix the Monday? Dodgy Just... Norwegian internet. Need to make sure I got no warning. Running my uh, running my, my League of Legends nights when I can't like lose three games and then I watch Wacky Flacky stream. Yeah. So I played some games yesterday. It was actually very nice, I would say. It feels like a bit less pressure, you know? Well, without streaming? Yeah. I mean... Or maybe I don't guess. I just hate I'm not sure. It's just really boring to, like, get griefed and then have the stream as well, you know? I mean, yeah, I understand. Uh, I mean, like, from from this, I mean, I know I would hate the coaching anyway, because, I mean, obviously no one wants to, like, have flaws picked out anyway, because mm-hmm. of, like, ego and, like, pride and shit. I don't understand I'd feel, like, awkward about that. But, like, the actual, like, it's very, like, obviously with me t- You can't. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sort of thinking, like, like, especially with all the stopping and shit, and, like, with no clear-cut path, it's, like, awkward. Because mm-hmm. you want to sort of, like, not look like a really big noob, you know what I mean? Yeah. At least at least from my point of view, it's like... Yeah, I mean, I've had coaching awkward. once, like, a long time ago, but that's why I've done my coaching as I do with two games, because I had one... I, I got coached in top lane then, and it was, like, a really awful game, and then that was it. Talked about that one game, was like, but this didn't really, like, portray my issues or anything, like... I feel like this gives you at least more of an opportunity to. Um... I mean, it's it's like, I find it's it's one of those things. I mean, when I've like tried to talk to my friends who are like silver, like bronze, silver, mm-hmm. and like, it's it's really obvious to, so like say bronze is like really bad elo, silver especially, and like, but shit like that, it's like, the. Because it's very simple mistakes, like not respecting champions and shit. Mm-hmm. And obviously, it's like I'm trying to think how to word it. Like people are blind to it until they're like not told, but they think about it, and like you're actively thinking about it. No. And so, like, obviously, the more blatant mistakes are like easier to recognize. Okay, support uh, had the longest zero second lock-in I've seen. I need to get my drink. Though I just ran out. <laughs> I'll be back before the game starts, though. Oh, for real? The work of, like, a special? Right. I think this definitely looks like a a lot nicer of a team, though, to play into. Really? Especially with Griffith. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah, from my, like, Mm baby. Like, yeah, Sorok healing's annoying, but, like, they're all squishy, like unless casting builds like Frozen Heart. Very annoying, but like obviously I've got the Lulu I've got. I'm gonna full AP, fuck you. Yeah. I mean I've had a Lulu um once I was playing like with a duo from Rift and they said to me, uh, why are you taking mid farm? Oh I know, uh, that made me, that made me smile. A has oh right. I, had... I forgot to uh, consider that. I should be fine. Just chilling on 90 ping at the moment. Fine. It's okay, Lucian also the same, that's fine. I don't mean to brag. My first not pinged. I think I can hack it a bit by closing some applications on my phone. On your phone? Yeah, because I'm using my phone internet. Did we just... Did the voice line just reveal us? I don't think so. I mean, Lily just said uh, they see us scamper. I don't think so. Yelling when someone's in the bush. Like the unique voice lines he has. Oh, what am I doing?
Pretty squishy dogs in fast. Yeah, uh, generally with Lulu Midlane and stuff, like you really shouldn't take the farm that much. At least that early game. Because they have to get mm. a mythic item. Yeah, I mean, early, I didn't do this one, like, really behind. Yeah. Okay, see, that's a bit of a problem. No, no, it's fine. He, um, Grave's flashed. Oh. I really want An enemy has been slain. First blood. Yeah, I saw her on bottom crap. Yeah, that's why I was walking up there. No one top shovel. No, I'm not swing. An enemy has been slain. Soroka, Soroka is there somewhere. I have heals so you can fight. <laughs> have a bit of money so I should uh, press the B button. Yeah, good, good choice. Is it worth to sell potion for new cover? Or do you like to keep potion? So I would sell it here for cover. I would sell it for you. Okay, yeah. Just making sure that's not like turbo in. <coughs> like the times I would sell it is if I need TMS, as an example. Mm. Or like spikes. I, mean, I just didn't know how valuable you consider the potion compared to like actually... I mean new cover is obviously big, but I could just buy like longsword and whoops. I mean new cover adds physical damage to monsters and... Uh... Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I... A really big spike for me, but I don't know how valuable potion is uh, compared to it. XPI. Secret hack. Big Sam and it all comes down to tempo, right? So mm. when you get Nin Quiver with the extra damage, then you're gonna clear Camp Sesta. It's like even at 60 gold, you spend on the potion. 
Well, yeah, I think that gank was like really bad for me, especially because I was level three. But it worked out because Lilia uh, was sh just shown, so it like forced my hand anyway. Yeah. I wouldn't like preferred if I had more time to like hit four. But it's worked out fine. Especially because GP got them both like sort of low. I mean, possibilities roaming off. It's so like now it's an example, right? Like one of the big things with Twitch is like once you get a lead, it's also about like maintaining it. So yeah, like at yeah, this point here, you don't want to like go for any ganks until you clear the entire jungle. And that's an XP. I mean, I'm here. Nice yeah, again. So you would prioritize like the clear over say top the bottling shoving right now. Yeah, I would, like, I would like, just clear. Because like if that gank sparks and you don't get anything, then you yeah, wasted yeah. so much, right? So I mean that was my um so I watched a lot of it, like it's like say like I've said in your streams before, I watched you in like scenarios and mm -hmm. he's a you player, so his mindset's more like he's very farm focused. Mm -hmm. Um but on Twitch, like if I was playing Yi, I definitely like prioritize because he said the exact same thing when he like streams. He really prioritizes the farm, and he said the exact same thing you say. It's like if the gank fucks up, you haven't got any gold, and you've wasted a lot of time compared to just taking like. Like now, you could gank in this example. Like you don't want to gank unless you have at least one side on cooldown. That's like a, also like mm -hmm. a general rule. Like if both side, both camps on one side is down, you don't really lose much from like failing a gank or. I, mean, I think it's especially worked out well because it's like shoved, or like Lucian is for some reason shoving it, but... Because at this point, even if you farm for 20 minutes straight, you would still have the gold feed that you have at the moment, as long as like they don't get... Keep going ahead. Spree. It's like now dragging the slots back with production. Hmm. Well, I really want to back, so I've got 2k after that. Well, like, would you go. Because I know I can't solo it. And, like, we're all low. And that's like. I don't think. I mean, they're both there. Like, 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 possibly. Yeah. Like, Mountain's like one of the. Doesn't you do that much damage either. Shut down. I mean, normally the uh, Lulu in my mid lane doesn't bully cast enough the way, but... <laughs> I mean, I can even come dragon too. Yeah. I mean, like I say, it's in a good spot for it. I mean, even though Lucian is not here, I, I'm a lot more confident now, because I've got I ult up, and like, uh, I've got everything I need for a fight. Mm -hmm. I don't think she's on Grum. But like, again, like, these are clip plays, right? So, like, prioritize your own jungle. Go mid lane, yeah. try and gain castle down. I, mean, I think I did, like, the, uh, the restyle thing again. <laughs> well, like, sort of, like, I stealth before anything was, like, guaranteed. And like I say, it's a, big, it's a big CD to waste, because I couldn't have gone, like, mid, as you said there. No. Because, like, you see, just as you went into the jungle there, like, your camp started spawning again, like, your golems back up. You just took the Raptors, which you killed earlier. It's like, now you want to take the blue buff, and, I mean, you can take the mid lane farm. Like, now you're in a clear top side, and then you can look for a recall. You probably will get an item by then, if you have it. Yeah, I mean, side. I definitely have Quiver. Mm. Two camps I have Quiver. Been slain. 
the color. <laughs> Unstoppable. It's like have an entire wave and then be calm. Yeah. Because like pathing for anything at that where you are currently doesn't really. Yeah, I, I was I was one like wanted to recall, but I saw him like walk up to zero. Because like now Dragon is not spawning, I mean you can take Rift if needed. Hmm. Should probably pass the mid here. I think I'll probably have killed him. If I did like red and then I'll left the possibility open. Saying. You just wait till I just play it safe enough. And also just maintaining lead. Because like you don't need to fight anyone here. Like we kill Cassidy and sure, but we're not gonna really get anything from it, you know. So like, if we're gonna fight Cassidy, I would prefer the fight to be either on like Dragon or Herald, right? So we want to like get something yeah, with it. Yeah, you get something from it, yeah. yeah. Other than just the kill. I mean, I can base straight after this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's literally perfect goal for me. 15 15. <clears throat> I mean, I can always place Hail to, like. Well, draw them off guard. Okay, grows DP as well. I think we can pull mid and go to drag. No. And like now we can herald just to break the middle. Yeah, bar. yeah. That's, that's what I want to do. I'm just like mm. crack mid. Can I go on? Oh. I mean, I wanted to uh, cast into Ultan Lucian. Just to like lock him in place. Lily's on red. But like the thing with Castle in that's an example, like if you ult him or like use your ultimate and he dashes away once, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. But like, obviously, now you're on the third, you can't. 
Your team has destroyed a turret. An enemy has been slain. That's leader something. I mean, I think the stealth play was like quite flippy as well. I mean, it's just like I wanted half. Like, obviously, I saw Lily passing to red, mm -hmm. and it's like, uh, like I could have like a very flippy play, but a play I probably would have made like with the guy I used to play Lulu with. It's sort of going like red here and like mm -hmm. killing Lily on the red, taking the red. But obviously, that leads into like casting Jinx, and everyone has the possibility to be there and like collapse. Okay, this is fine. Gangplank, I'll take this. Just clear your topside jungle. And then. How much money do you need for a kill? Uh. It's okay. Yeah, the button. Take a red buff and then go for bot lane. You can ignore mm. mid lane, just leave it the solution. Just keep farming the jungle. I'm gonna recall in Garden. So you can wait until I'm back. Just cover down mid. Which one can you go ahead? Just take that. Don't go. Yeah, I mean, I was, if Lucian was there as well. I think the pre suicide order boost here. Because again, it's like you might kill one or two, but it's not like what you want from bot lane. Because we're gonna fight them again, but we're gonna fight them bot. Like, we mm. will get fighting, you know? It's just really bad to fight them now. I mean, it's bad of me to ward there too. I mean, 200, um, uh, 250 gold. Or like, yeah, yeah, what? 250 gold, 200 gold, something like that. And I'm like, pretty big. Best fire. Come. I mean, I think this like like this is like good. Like so this is something I do normally. I think if I was like like say this strong and with like a Lulu, mm -hmm. but I think uh, like with the fizz and shit, like stuff like this, I don't find I'm not as confident to. Um... The list can grind to pull back. Because this yeah. comes back to the thing of like pushing the wave and then. Waiting for like the position you want. So like Lilia was behind us. Yeah. Ah, oh, she's used these tool. So like, now I can just keep shoving. Like what we, sh we should have done is just take the wave and then uh, walk yeah. back again and just wait for people to show. Make sure people aren't behind us. I mean, I would have um, I would have altered earlier. I can cast him like in my face. Oh, you don't have yet? No. 150. But I mean, would you do the same, like, push the side lane? Like, obviously, before drag and uh, into, like, fizz and shit, like last game? Yeah. Enemy has been slain. Fine. I'll, I can tell you after. Yeah. And since we took the tower bot lane and we take Dragon now, the next place are going to be Baron. Right, Rico? Or can you buy Hurricane? Mm. How much do you miss? Yeah, I can, buy, I can buy Hurricane. Okay. Literally just not. So Rico buy Hurricane and then go top. Because the next play now is Baron, right? Mm. And mid lane or top lane is the best lane to be in for Baron because either we kill them top lane and then we can take Baron or we get towers yeah, top lane. Um, like the wave shoving, especially something I don't do. Mm. But is that something just because obviously I'm with a Lulu now? Like, or is it so, so solo, especially? It's like I wouldn't feel confident to sort of do it, especially like when we was like bot side before and like mm -hmm. they weren't on vision. I mean, I will definitely like put some effort into it. Don't do that. Come top. They're being stuck. Okay. We won't play this properly now, just a display. Come top. 
We saw a war go down here. Because we want to take this tower or like kill them and then do Baron. We could do Baron, but it's not the right play because it's trying to still do a fifth. Flip me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you want to pick one before? I've got stealth in five. No, just stay, stay normal, don't you stealth? Because mm. you want to just Lily in there, Just take the minions and Okay, why uh Renault's here? All you have to think about or pay attention to is if Lily or someone comes behind. If you see like Lily or like Castin like this, Kastin. then you can wanna like walk down and return to like around here to like push them back again, you know? And then come back to the same spawn. You know? Take the card, don't fight. You don't want to go into the jungle because it just becomes awkward. You want to like stay in the yeah, not get, you want to yeah, stay in the open and just like not get flanked. Oh shit, I'm coming. This one, did he flash onto me? No, I had my ultimate. Just, no. no, I mean, I mean, like, it's still fine. Taking shoes. Yeah, dog shoot Lulu for I blame. Sure. Do you have the um, Ray-Ban on? Yeah, I'm gonna kill all of you earlier, but I f it will be better to just get a knockout, but I guess I can't yeah. do that kind of thing. I mean, I'm gonna go like LDR here. I mean, I know, like, from the map, the arm's gold efficient, like, 100, uh, like 80 armor. And I don't really want to, like, be stuck on, like, waiting for a BF sword. Like, I had the perfect back for that. Like, like this stuff. Or would you, or would you, I mean, the IE, I'd prefer to have the IE here. And I don't think I need the uh, LDR, so would, like, would you still do what I've done and just get the last whisper? I mean, they're getting armor, so I probably would go last just for And now since top lane is gone, you can just go bot. You can go a different lane. You don't have to farm that much now, just give it a buff and... Like, the only like things you want to farm for now is like if you can get 15 or something or... And the game feels a lot... Um... The game feels a lot nicer with the CS. Mm -hmm. uh, it feels a lot smoother, like with the tower especially. Like, obviously, objectives have been got. We've got Inhib, we've got Nash, Dragon. I know, it feels a lot a lot smoother. But it's like... Uh, I mean, it's like you're constantly like, playing towards me. Possibly we get ult here. Should be fine. It's going to be Uh, Restart again. Restart uh, glitch, I think. I mean, it's just something to keep in mind, you know. As long as you like keep like, actively thinking about it and like putting yourself whenever you do it, you're eventually gonna. I mean, I, it. I do it like in that in that situation. It's like I feel like because uh, it's still a possibility of, like a fight continuing. Mm -hmm. Like I auto do it, but I feel like like you say the stupid ways of doing it. Like if you're gonna do it, just like link in, you know. Don't like break it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't just. Do it to break it. Not today. I mean, I really want to go in for that. But... I don't know if you know, I just want to be on it. We are trying out the ELP here. That, yeah, see not that what they can see. Hey! Dun, dun, dun. GG! Okay. Ooh, yeah, celebration. Party poppers, get the sparkler out. I mean, the game, yeah, I can see it felt a lot smoother with, like, uh, 
the macro was a lot better. And like uh, the safer play, like you say, I mean, I still got the same gank off without flipping it and like getting the CS. It's like the rush, the rush to gank, it wasn't as um, like pre did the CS. And like, like you say, it's like, it's to bring with like conditions again, where instead of like team fighting, like how I got something up before I can gank. So like you say, it's the safe play that you get gold, and even if the gank doesn't work, you're not mm -hmm. wasting time. You're not you've not been shown on the map that you're like bot side, yeah. And then you can get invaded like on low health. I mean, I probably would have gnashed with the team as well compared to a uh, like you say pushing top. I, yeah, I, I mean, like we definitely could have joined them and Ash and probably got it, but like in reality, it's like he's flipping. It's not normal for your team to like do that, you know. Yeah, yeah, like I, I don't like to Nash without getting a pick. Yeah, uh, like you say, cause it's just uh, a flip, and it's like the like the choke point thing again. You're all stood in the same sort of like radius of like a meter or two. No, because you all have like the debuff and Baron. So, like if they're gonna turn it, like that's mm. where they're gonna turn it. And like if you don't get Baron yet, you're gonna get here too. You're gonna get like all these other things, you know. So like. <laughs> Baron is like okay thing there, but it's like a really desperate thing, and you don't need to be that desperate. And like Baron yeah. was definitely on the to-do list. It was just get towers. It first, just wasn't. You know? it, yeah, it wasn't there. So how do you decide? Like with pushing, obviously you push the side that's. I mean, I see it in your streams as well. Like mm -hmm. you don't. You always tend to go like top or bot, at mm -hmm. least from what I see. And like we went top and bot in that game compared to like mid lane because mid lane is normally like a ram fiesta. No, I'm going to uh, go over there now. <clears throat> okay, can you see my screen? Uh, I'm watching, yeah, yeah, I'll see now. Can you see my drawing? Can you see me drawing, or...? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, the problem with mid lane, okay, is that... Okay, as an example, let's just take this first. Most assassins that you struggle with, say Fizz, what can you do? Mm. I mean, I mean, it's like um, I saw. Know you're gonna say it's like when uh, you were like. No, but what can you do? Well, obviously you need vision of them, but no, like but what can you do? Lane, what can you do? If this is here, uh, can you go here? Well, no, no, you can't be in a certain radius. No, like, but obviously if, if if this is this, yeah, can this go from here to here? Yeah. Why? Or we how? Can jump wall, or we can queue through. Yeah. Wall. Okay. And if I don't have vision, you can just ult straight onto me. And now for the second part, because this goes with all the champions, but we'll take that after. Say this is you, okay? Okay, you've got like many directions to cover and like. Okay, where can Fizz come from? Well, if he's like blue side, obviously. We can draw the map. mid lane, but he won't. Just yeah, so he, he won't go straight through mid. He can come here. Wait, can. Uh, but you can come through either of the bushes, you can, can come behind come if you have like a ward. Yeah. And then where else can you come? Both rivers, and then also behind, if he like goes through river and behind. Yeah. And you can I know, like, it's, like I was, it's like I was going to say, uh, I know when you explained uh, Lulu to someone on stream, mm -hmm. and you said like, where Danny positions, or like, like, be the position for them, like, close to the wall, away from threats and shit. Yeah. Like, I think it was in like, like top lane, like, like pushing like we did. Mm -hmm. And like you said, like, oh, we're standing now, you're like furthest away from like, say where Krugs are, like the bush where Krugs is. So you've got the largest amount of reaction time or like chance to dodge things. Mm -hmm. And so obviously, yeah, I understand. <laughs> it's like I said earlier, it's like really, it's when you, when you like know, it's like really stupid, but you don't think about it until you like know. And like to actively think about it. Yeah, because like, again, if you're here, and where can Fist then come from? He can come from. Yeah, Two directions. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And then there. Uh, the, either like in front of you or like. Which is the but thing you what I said play. when we were fighting here earlier with Lilia. I said we need to. <clears throat> when we saw Lilia here, like we just all we have to do then is just go back here, mm. and then we go here, and then Lilia's here, and then suddenly everyone has in come here again. Mm. Which is also the same reason why we did the dance on top lane, when Cassidy came from the side here. Yeah. Right, like he came here, then we just went back, we went around here, and then we just 
we heard them back, you know, like sheep. Yeah. So you've sort of always got to imagine like uh, a cone in front of you, and like enemy. Well, if they're not in there, you can't really fight. Yeah, and it's way easier to manage people like fists and stuff when they can't come from every single angle. Because at the same time, whereas say like if you're in a wall or something, you you pin yourself right, and then if yeah. fist comes here, then you're fucked. You know, like you can't. Yeah, it's like you say, as long as you can, as long as you can kite back. It's like obviously if, if fizz also comes from the side, if you target fizz. To like do damage to him, the rest of the team can like freely walk up and like attack you. Hmm. Instead, of, like obviously you're not all, you're not doing damage to everyone at once and scaring people off. Like you know, what I mean, obviously if you're chunking their health, they're not gonna like keep running at you. I mean, yeah. if they do run at you, they'll just die. But it, no, I'm yeah. gonna just I, I, yeah. skim through the game. Does it actually show when summoners are down? Did you use, do you remember when you used Flash this game? When I used Flash. Mm -hmm. Uh, did, or did you use the rolling him? It's not a negative thing, didn't it? I honestly can't remember. I don't think there was really a, a need. I could have flashed the kills. I don't know if I did. Mm -hmm. I don't think I flashed the kills. Or like felt the need to... Uh, like flash. Because look, the main thing here that I didn't say last game is that Something to keep in mind when you want to win fights or like the fights that are important to win. Like same thing I said, like I'm killing Cassidy in yeah, mid lane. If you had to use flash to like do the like you asked to re-kill Cassidy mid, I said there's no point. But like say you went for that, you killed Cassidy but you used your flash. Yeah, and then it's not up for dragon. It's yeah. five minutes CD and then it's you're like always to, like... <laughs> save your flash for like these big fights that I talk about like this tower here, like, save your flash for this fight, save your flash for Baron fight, dragon fight, save your flash for dragon fight. Like, for these key points, or like, key moments in the game. And I can skim over this game quickly and just talk about, like, the general idea of macro in this game. Uh, I'm just typing shit for a second, just to, yeah. like, remember. To save flash, less risks. Can you think of anything else? Like, uh, noise. Yo, yo. <laughs> I just wrote down one thing there with the. Reason of saving flash. Like early games, using flash for like kills is fine because it's about getting yourself the lead. Yeah. So, like as long when you start passing like the 15 minute mark, 20 minute mark, then like flashing for one random yeah, kill. Yeah, like, it's, it's, not, it's not worth uh, the CD of it for like the big fights. Like you're gonna lose. Like if you really like pay a, attention, yeah. it's something I like, like, like really think Rad is really good at, and it's something I don't think people really pay attention to. But like his flash like discipline is really good. I mean, yeah, it's like, um, I mean, obviously, the shit that, I mean, the, th the I think the one thing that I haven't sort of, like, well, ha hasn't been covered today, at least because there hasn't been a game for it, but, like, playing from behind, mm. uh, but, like, the rest of the stuff, like, like, say, the, it's just going to have that, like, mental checklist to, like, like, say, the resetting, the resetting, uh, team fighting, I'm, it's like I say, I'm pretty confident with it, and, but it's only, like, when the less confident, like when the uh, the skill checks and like obviously when things are hectic and shit, mm -hmm. it's like that. Like last game, because of because of obviously you're and Lulu. Even if I didn't have the Lulu, I'm still like 17 kills and items. Yeah. And I'm not scared of the enemy champions because I have like the Wits End versus the Cassidy and the shit. And Fizz, like obviously Cassidy didn't have like a knock up like Fizz, and he didn't have the, we obviously didn't have the Mordal. Like yeah, the Lily asleep, but that means Lily has to get on me. Which, yeah, she can flash Q, but she's not going to hit, like, an E. Like, it's not... Mm -hmm. It's like a, a Zerath, in a way, or, like, a Cass. They're like, yeah, I have, like, CC and shit, but every Cassiopeia will, like... You can get two autos and, like, turn around, and, like, your initial just press R. 
And like Xerath, you just path one way, like do two steps one way, and then you know he's gonna throw E, so you just walk back. And like this deck, you know, it's like gimmicky. Like you can walk around things, and like there's nothing last game that was like hard. Mm -hmm. Like so I think the the Maud one, like the point and click ult, and like the Fizz was like a lot harder last game play around. Mm -hmm. I think the yeah the team fight knowledge as well like the. Uh... <clears throat> but I think you could have won last game like if you were to like play in a similar fashion that we did this game. I think yeah yeah with the uh, with the CS and less flipping and I think I would have had like say another item on top of me. No, I mean in terms think... of like forcing fights or, like how you would have took like mid lane tower like you definitely had items to like do it. To, to like... take things yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think like I say it's just the conf. It's like I have you with me. So yeah. I sort of know. It's like AI, it's like autopilot in a way. Yeah. It's like it's the best way to describe it. It's like when I play with like uh, Samanis and shit. It's like obviously he's better than me. He's diamond, which still shit. So Savannah, if this goes to YouTube, uh, you saw dog shit. <laughs> um, I mean, if it goes to YouTube, then it's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, it can go to YouTube for me. It's like right. I mean, I upload them anyway because uh, I can either make them private or like. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, unlisted. Mm -hmm. Shit. So you can look at it yourself. I mean, like if, if, he, if, he, if, he gets, uh, if he gets so far in and he hears me call him dog shit, I'm sure I'll be hearing that in uh, Discord DMs. Yeah. But, like, it's the same sort of, like, I can AFK with uh, mm -hmm. with the, th the thinking. It's like, obviously, with someone telling me, like, this is bad, don't do this. Yeah. It's obviously just putting that into my own game. Uh but do you want me to go over the entire game quickly in like macro fashion and just say why we did what and what? Order? I mean, I think. Or do you it's understand? Just the, it's just the it's just the safety. Yeah, I mean, the thing I, I don't understand the most is like the safety of pushing to top and bot. Obviously, when we did it, I know we can because I was ahead, and I'm not scared of the enemy champions. But in more close games, like last one, or like not say not last one, but like the one before, it was like Fizz and Mord. Obviously, if Mord's out the way, I'm still scared of the Fizz. Mm -hmm. Or like, say if they have a Zed, a Talon, or another like high damage assassin that I'm scared of. Or obviously last game they had like the Zed mid, not the Zed mid, the uh, the Fizz and the uh, Graves. And like, even though Graves is not as big as a threat as Fizz, he still has the smoke screen, he can still like... But that's the thing, inside like, lane the they, can't, they can't get the jump on you. Like, as long mm. as you have wards, and you don't walk past like a point where you don't have wards anymore, they can't get the jump on you. So like, if you're scared of Fizz, just don't engage him, because like... You yeah. come here and you have a ward here, and you see this here, and you're standing here, then you just run back and then yeah. avoid it, you know? But like in mid lane, it's, it's, it's impossible to, to have 100% control over mid lane. Mm. I think it's hard, especially like wall jump champs. Like if you look bot lane, like where the bush is, even if I like, like down, I mean, like down, like on like proper, like normal lane. Yeah, like further down, like the actual river bush. Like, I think, because Fizz can, like, wall hop, he can still vault the wall, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's like, for, so for shoving, like, say, first tower, you still got to, I think, I think, like, it's like but, from watching, like, like say, Talon, for example, like, mm -hmm. you can go, like, Talon or Fizz can go over, like, either way, and, like, Fizz can still, like, get to me. Obviously, if he sacrifices a vault, he's gonna, like, cripple his damage, because he maxes uh, the vault first. Mm -hmm. I mean, I it's, it makes like... him invulnerable as well, which is like the major key point of it. Like, you can't... Like, he can hover, like, most of your damage in his vault and just, like, you can't attack him, you know? Mm. I mean, it still does... I haven't played in Ages, but it still does, like, more damage if he doesn't move as well, don't it? I think he slows more or something, I'm not sure. Mm. I'm very, if it doesn't like, reactivate, I'm sure it does, like, a lot more damage. Mm. So it's always like, uh, just don't go past the point of uh, no return. In like the side lane, it should be alright. Yeah. Yeah, I think I understand that. Yeah, I think that's, uh, I think that's like everything I'm pretty chill on now. But like I say, playing from behind is another thing. But, like, I think when the I The only thing behind, I can say, playing from behind, it applies like the same concepts of like, knowing when to like, when you can contest these objectives. Because like, at that point you're playing from behind, so... Okay, then you just have to try your best to farm. Just ignore lanes, AFK farm, get your spike level 6, and then you go bot lane and then try and look for like some kills maybe. If not, then you're nearing 20 minutes mark. Like, sometimes I'll have games run completely fucked, even playing with like Danny mid lane. And like, I can't do anything until 25, 20 minute mark. I mean, I and find if I lose the mid tower, and like, as soon as I lose that, like, 
if you sort of like a line, if you imagine a line between like all three mm -hmm. of your towers, yeah, like, yeah, that line gets breached like a net. And it's like a V, if you know what I mean. Then, mm -hmm. and like they have a lot of like ways to get into my jungle. Then, yeah, yeah of course. And I find once that happens, it's like, like as soon as I lose access to jungle, I find it like incredibly hard to like get back into the game. I mean, that's only on the rare occasions, but like obviously normally we don't, I don't get shit on, and also we don't lose the mid tower. Yeah, but, but like, that's why you have to spend get... as much time as you can to like farm up until that point. You know, like try and get as much mm. like stuff resources up until that point. It's like if you like Please. sense that the game is going to shit, just go full AFK fun mode, so you can like prepare yourself and like and just get to a, get to like a spike that you can actually like com possibly like contest things on, or like if they fuck up. No, it's basically spike. just try and get as much as you can until you can. <laughs> like imagine you're like a I don't know a raccoon or something. Fuck's the thing called the squirrel. You know they like harvest nuts and stuff and run up to the tree. You, like harvesting as much as you can, you know before. They take it. So, like, if you like gank until like that point, and you have like no CS, then it's gonna be shit. Mm. But like, if you manage to like get um, as much money as you can up Shut until that down. point, at least you're not gonna be like completely useless, you know. Like, you don't wanna be like level four when that happens. You wanna be like level six, have like key like things, you know, like um, level six as an example. Or... Yeah. I mean, I feel I feel like the game, like say, I went went a lot smoother, mm. and I feel like before I was trying to do too much on the map in a way. And like too, have too much activity. It's like seeing someone low health. I'd sort of like not f not like flip it, but even though like they have a 50-50 chance to like push it and back, where I could like like I said earlier, I could like just take the CS and then get the kill mm -hmm. and just take take the guaranteed route. Blue team has slain the dragon. Oh yeah, just to show this through, like just that's a quick example because I wrote it down. Like when. This camp is down, right? And this camp is down. And you gank bot lane as an example, right? Yeah. <laughs> when this camp is done, you recall. And then you can go top lane, clear this, and then this spawns again. It's like, in that way, you don't lose any resources almost. Right? As opposed to, like, not clearing this or... Uh, like, full clearing and clearing two camps is, like, very similar. Mm. It's like, always just try and at least take two camps before you gank. Yeah, so you always get one side of the map down, try and pack that side, and then... Yeah, because then you can go to the other side and clear those camps, and then the time you clear those camps, then the two other camps are going to respawn again. It's like it's going to be as if you lost nothing. Up. Yeah, and if, I guess if you keep that in your head, you're still always, like... Even if you take two camps, it's still a longsword. Like, you're still always buying, yeah. and, like, getting stronger. I'd hate to die, in, like, in a gank or something, get nothing, and then have all my camps be up, and then witness the enemy yeah. jungler walk into my jungle and, like, take everything. Yeah, a little tragedy. Yeah. I, mean, I think that's uh I think that's answered like a lot of my questions. It's like a lot uh, clearer what to do now. Yeah. I mean you always have to see like if you Rampage. struggle to like see the same pants again. Yeah, I mean obviously the danger is like I sort of like auto not well not autopilot but like I don't recognize the same things. Like, obviously, in this game, like I say, it's like it's easy to do it with someone, but like to recognize and like play, like for myself. Like that's the uh, obviously the. I would just think about the dragon stuff and that you know, like, because that yeah, kind of yeah. like controls the game. Like, uh, take care, which is why I wanted to just say that. Like now, dragon is spawning, right? So you don't want to be here, right? So you go top lane. Go here, or alternatively, you take the dragon bite. But you always want to be near this side here. And the best yeah, thing yeah. to do then is to go here, take dragon, alternatively, then go here, take this tower. Because now the easiest thing, spot lane, is gone. Like, dragon's not going to spawn five minutes, this tower is gone. This one's a lot harder to get and like a lot more effort. It's so, like after mm -hmm. this point, Baron's about to spawn, right? So then yeah. you go here, you go take line. the tower, you take these two, and this one. A lot again, a lot more effort to take. It's so, like you just want to like trim the base, you know. Like you trim these, then you trim the these. Same, the same with the net. It's obviously when as soon as they've yeah. got those towers down, they haven't got the security, and the waves are pushed up. And obviously, if they're taking waves that are close to their towers, you well, like, if Jinx or like if they save Jinx or Rock, is it they're, they're like top tier two tower? Mm -hmm. Like you know, you've got a long. There's, there's only three of them that are missing in the map, if you know what I mean. And obviously, one will be like in another lane, so you've got that safety net. Obviously, because your minions are just like mobile wards. You have that confidence where you can 
make like educated plays compared to just uh, flipping things. Because as an example, this is how it goes. You take this tower here, okay, you recall, go back right, then you go bot lane, take this tower here, recall, go here, take this, recall. Then you don't want to take this one because that one's really awkward to take. So then again, this one comes with time, like by default. You go here, mm. take this one, and then you go back, you go here, you take this one. And then you go back again, and then alternatively, either push this turret here. And then while you're sieging this one, you want to have a slow push in mid lane. So then when this tower is getting defended, you can rotate over. And it becomes very messy because of the collar. But you can then go here, take this one right, and then you like alternate between these two and just push them both at the same time. Like this, just back and forth, back and mm -hmm. forth, back and forth. Eventually you might not get anything, but your money starts getting cramping up right. So then you have to recall again. But like, you just want to like trim them down, like zigzag back and forth, and also like time those this trimming with the objectives. So like, if dragon is up, yeah. then you want to trim this tower first. If baron is up and you've took dragon, then you want to trim this tower. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it makes uh. So like I say it's just that uh, like the routine. So I don't think it can ever go like really badly for Twitch, especially with. I say really badly, I don't mean like the game going badly, but yeah. like time, because obviously time's not going to affect the champions, it scales. So I find like, yeah, the slower, sort of, uh, not slow, but the controlled approach to things definitely uh, makes it easier to like, guarantee the scaling and guarantee the items. And <coughs> yeah, because that has guarantee things. As I said, that one game, like, there are always going to be things to. Uh, do like in the fist game, right? Like you can take mid tower, like you get all the outer towers left, right? And there's always like these objectives to play for. You just have to like identify them and like figure out how to play for them. I think with like the fist game as well, and like other games for myself, I sort of try and play around other people. Like I'll try, say if someone's taking like a tower, I'll try hover it. And so if someone comes and answers it, I can sort of kill them. Like I say, I, like obviously I went for kills with like the Brandon shit in the mid lane. Yeah. When it would have been better, like you say, to actually chip at a permanent objective, so like something that contributes something. Because, like I say, in that game, we just sort of got chipped away at towers, like what we, what, obviously, what you're talking about now, and we had nothing. So even though like the time was going on, I was fed, nothing was in our favour because obviously they had like all of their towers up. Yeah. And so it's like not a close game at all because of like what was uh, going on. I definitely think, like I say, it's just a lot smoother with the uh, second one. Yeah, I mean, everything just applies the same way as like, your Twitch stuff, you know? Like, you just have to grab yourself by the neck sometimes and just be like, I have to do this, you know, I, I didn't do this mm. wrong, and just, like, correct yourself while you're playing the game. Like, if you, f if you feel like you're wandering around for five minutes, just, like, give yourself a little slap, you know, and then, like, look a bit on yeah. the map, like, ah, oh, top lane's tower's up, like, let's try and do that, you know? Or, yeah, I mean, like I say, with that, it's just like, trying to keep an objective in mind. Yeah. Like, I don't... I didn't think it's well. Um, I don't think I valued uh, dragons as... I value them, but... Before... It's like the access route into them. Like, obviously, with you describing like the shipping away and, like, obviously a process of like do this that or get something before the like before an objective mm -hmm. it's like especially earlier on like i don't think i valued saved like dra like first or second dragon was up i would always be fine with sort of losing one possibly two mm -hmm. for like other shit but the, even if other shit was just kills to get me ahead and try and get it back like later like focus on later but like you say it's just uh if i force set like plays on the same side then not only do you get the kills, but obviously you can force a dra like, dragon as well. I mean, it's not necessarily about the dragon. Like, I'll put some examples here. Like, the main thing with dragon is that it's not so much about the dragon. It's more about it's a place where the enemy team will be stacked. And what's the thing Twitch really likes? He likes when people are stacked. So the same thing with if the enemy gets Herald. It's a really good thing if you're aware of how to play against Herald in Twitch. Because it's like a really big way of you to get a lead. Because what's mm. going to happen when they get Herald most of the time? They're going to group and go for a siege. Yeah. And when they go for a siege, what happens? They're stacked, right? So, like, yeah, th those are, like, the key... As They're also, like, a really big part of macro, but it's also, like, 
the the kind of like places where Twitch thrives the most because it's where the enemies are grouped up. So like that's why I, I like push the like idea of like you have to like force these situations or like find a way to be in them because it's where Twitch gets the most out of you know. Like an assassin yeah. don't want to force a five v five, right? So like if you're playing like an assassin, then it's not necessarily like the same kind of like play style as Twitch, right? Because like if you're playing an assassin, you don't you don't force the enemy like to be all stacked up here. Because if you're playing LeBlanc, yeah, you like you're gonna you're not gonna, gonna do anything, yeah. right? So as as long as well as it's like really good macro wise, it's also like just you're playing to your strengths. Yeah, yeah, it's your strengths. Yeah. And like, of course, Havoc can be good to Twitch too, but I feel like especially now with how it damages and you can't like free show everyone, it's a lot better to like take advantage of these situations with where they're all stacked, you know? Because mm. like before in like Season 9, you could walk around on Twitch and just pop out a star free shot that you see, you know, with like stag shiv and shit. Mm. But like, you can't it's really fine. do that anymore. And they'll gale force away as an example, you know. Yeah, I mean, I do miss. I do miss season nine. But it's just about adapting, and yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I said, I don't think it's, I don't think it's bad. If anything, like the jungle clear is better, but like, the speed, but like speed nerf was a bit annoying. No. Like, with the camps. But I think any champ can clear the jungle now. Even you, me. The Jin jungle prodigy. But okay, I hope you feel like you've got some out of this for your money. Yeah, yeah, like it's definitely a. Uh, I mean, I think like the concepts and like the shit to improve on and like the like the mentality and like a process. 